In this section of the project, we're going to be looking at 123D design. Let's start with a brief tour of the user interface. Here we see New, Open, and Send To, which allows us to make or send to a 3D printer. You can also export your model and save it as an STL file, that's stereo lithography, which can also go to 3D printers. As you work in your project, you'll become more familiar with these options. On the toolbar, we have Undo, Redo, Transform, and the ones you'll use most often, primitives, such as Box, Sphere, Cylinder, Colon. You can also create sketches. You'll be constructing such as Extrude, Sweep, Revolve, and Loft. And then be modifying with a Press, Pull, Tweak, Fillet, and Chamfer. We we'll can also apply materials, and in our 123D Design library, we have glass all the way down to wood materials. You can see I'm already logged in, so you'll want to do the same thing, so you can save your models to My Projects. With some quick help, I always encourage you to have a look at these. They're pretty short, and they're really helpful. There's also video tutorials out on the Autodesk YouTube site all the way down to 123D website. We have some pre-built models for you. Robot, motorcycle, train engine. Let's have a look at the robot. Here are the heads, so by double-clicking on that, you'll see down in the bottom left-hand corner that it's getting that file, and there it is. So always look in that bottom left-hand corner to make sure it's working. You can also move that around, so depending on your mouse, I can zoom in, pan, and rotate. I can also go back to the home view. Those are available on those view tools also.